morning, folks. How are you all doing? A few minutes thought for a Monday morning from us at Strategy Story. Big question that we address as a business and help other businesses with. Why is strategy not working? Well, we've got our thoughts on that. A couple of reasons we'll come to in a second, but just to put a statistic out there that we kind of work, work with, 80% of strategies fail. Uh, there's reasons why they fail. Why is that, Donald? Two reasons. Two main reasons. First, and most obviously, it's not a good strategy. It's not very smart. Second, people don't care about it. They're not engaged in it. Success equals a smart strategy times a high level of engagement. Either one of these is down, you get very poor. Both up, you get a great result. Brilliant. So talk to us a little bit, Don, first of all, about what, you know, why a strategy isn't smart. What makes a strategy not smart? Well, I think the most obvious reason is that it's done for the wrong reason. So it's uh, it's done because somebody said, create a strategy, or it's done because they've got one and we must have one, or it's done because it's that time in the budgeting cycle and we need a strategy to wrap all this stuff in, so we ought to have one, but nobody really gets why. And the, a strategy is just a way of nudging up the odds of success when you face a challenge so the real reason to have a good strategy is to have a challenge that everybody relates to. It's a response to a challenge. So that's and sometimes problem. that's where a strategy goes a bit wrong, isn't it? In terms of, you know, people might just have a strategy for the sake of having a strategy, because it's something to do, isn't it? Like every, you need to have a strategy in your organization, but actually the critical thing is spending time working out on what the specific challenges that that strategy needs to address. Yeah, so it's three steps, diagnosis, identification of challenge or challenges, and then the strategy. Far too many organizations start with strategy. Too yeah. Early. yeah, yeah. So the other, another reason is that, that even though they might start in the wrong place, the analysis might be flawed, the logic might be wrong, and that's usually quite easily fixed. But I would say these are the two main reasons. And folks, we've got a little we've got a little video on what is strategy, which will give you a kind of a schema, a kind of framework um, around which to build strategy, which hopefully might be quite helpful. Um, all right, so that's that's number one. What about number two, Donald? What's the second reason? Remind us what the second reason is why strategy doesn't work sometimes. That that the the second reason is the big reason I think, uh, the, and the more challenging reason that people just don't care about it. Even worse, they might. They might say they care about it, but not do anything about it, or they might reject it. And I think it's important to point out here, it's not the fault of the people, it's not the fault that they don't care. It's because of the way the strategy is developed and is then cascaded through the organisation. So, so often strategy comes from the top, from the boardroom, um, created and then passed on to the teams in order to do the work but quite often you think well that's just not going to work because it doesn't really reflect the reality of what's on the ground so the really important thing about developing strategy a strategy that works is that your people are engaged that they've been part of the creation of it that their ideas are involved their experiences are taken into account and crucially that their stories are all folded into that and so that's a really important role of storytelling in developing strategies that work bring people in, bringing people on board so that they own that strategy and it's so much more likely to work. And the brilliant thing about that as well is that not only is it going to be great for the organisation, but it's also fun and people get to know each other and it just makes a much better working practice for our modern organisations. Okay, it's also likely to be smarter as yeah. well because because the people who are involved in making it happen actually know loads and loads about what is needed to make things happen so if you cut them out of the process uh, it's, it's like a major flaw in the assembly thing and i think part, mm -hmm. part of the thing is is that this creating the strategy is a logical process but driving strategic change is a cultural phenomenon one's about function the other's about meaning to get people involved it needs to be meaningful, not just functional. And to get there, how do people exchange meaning? They share stories. That's what connects us. That's what buys us in. So it's all about storytelling as a grassroots 
cultural means of developing a, a strategy in which people are engaged and which will be smart. So there you go, folks. That's us, our little thought for the week. Why strategy isn't working. Maybe not smart enough. And your folk aren't engaged. And it can all be sorted through storytelling. It can all be sorted through storytelling. <laughs> Bardic strategy. There we go. Cheers, folks. Bye.